and the women's race and they have they've all come together now so it's uh, as we say in france peloton group a all together for the big sprint should be quite a sprint we've got some good sprinters in the women's race great sprinters there american sprinter corn rivera well the women lining up now for the finish here bob and uh, there are some very, very fast finishers here. The teams, try, the teams try to get themselves organized. I think the yellow jersey of Anna van der Breggen, the world champion, by the way, she's on the center left of our picture as we look at it. She might want to keep herself out of trouble now and win the race because all these women are coming at the same time. Corinne Rivera taken into the barriers there. This is a sprint for the line. Here come the women, Lizzie Dagnan going for the line. Elisa Balsamo. Valcar takes the win in the women's race. Great sprint by Balsamo. Well, Corinne Rivera just going into the barriers there in the very last possible moment and didn't get a chance to sprint. She's going to be very disappointed. She's finishing now. Yellow jersey defended well by Anna Van der Bregen. Oh, terrible bad luck for, for Corinne Rivera of the Sunweb team. Trying to figure out what exactly is going on with looks Corinne. Like, she looks like she cannot pedal her bike almost. She jammed. has no chain. Yeah, the chain oh, is, is jammed, jammed, jammed up. up. It's jammed up, yeah. Oh, that is horrible for Corinne uh, Rivera. She has not won a race yet since she pulled on that national championships jersey and she was hoping to do it today. But there is the winner. Mamma <laughs> mia! Tears of joy, Elisa Balsamo, who was placed on the first stage, has gone one better and taken the win here from Italy. She won't win the race, of course, but she will win. That green points jersey is the most consistent daily finisher. This is how she did it here. Boy, she's a fast sprinter, this one. Well clear of the field there. Everybody else is having to uh, follow over the line, including Elena Sierra, who is a very fast finisher. Has won before in Sacramento, but not this year. She Chloe, goes over the line in second place there. Chloe Digart getting fourth, if I'm not mistaken, for the Show Air 2020 squad. Uncorking a fantastic sprint. Elisa Balsamo and her teammates overcome with joy after having done an incredible amount of work throughout the stage to keep the peloton together and Anna van der Breggen in good order to the finish line. I'm super, super happy. Okay. I must say thank you to my teammates and I'm, I'm very, very happy. Yes. And this week of racing, was it challenging for you in the days over Mount Baldy yesterday? Yes. Yesterday was very, very hard. But uh, we know that today was easier. And easier wasn't very much, but uh, uh, I can I can stay with the first group and then uh, they did a great job. We have to go, we have to go. Well, well done, but she's only 21 years of age. Youth will out in this uh, race, the Amgen Tour of Calo. There's Colin Rivera smiling to her fans here, but inside she'd be very disappointed. She really wanted to win that. She is a terrific sprinter. Appeared to jam her chain up, and that cost her the whole day's racing. But uh, ah. young Italian here, 21. It's only a third of a victory, Bob, and it's a second of this season up-and-coming superstar of Italian cycling, Elisa Balsamo. An absolutely fantastic sprint for the stage win. Young lady, Anna van der Breggen, the world champion, is wearing, she's wearing her world championship bands at the moment, but she's about to pull on the yellow jersey. She's led this race from start to finish over the women's uh, three days of racing. They're just short of 200 miles they raced. Same course as the men today. She is enormously strong. She's also the Olympic champion at reigning. Uh, she's the number one for my money in the world of women's cycling just at the moment. We won't tell Annemiek van Vluten. Well, she's having she the might best be listening, season though. ever, I agree. <laughs> and she's not here. No. On the road, on the dirt, really there's not many things that, that woman cannot do. 
Cape this, Epic, Epic win in her you career. You got it. Cape Epic. This is a seven day mountain bike stage race. Oh, my, my, I think it's eight, actually. Eight days, okay. My Not, hands are still recovering from last year. <laughs> Van der Breggen on board for the final yellow jersey. When she took it on the day one, she said tomorrow's tough, so she finished second to her teammate Katie Hall of Mount Baldy. I'm way ahead of the field today. She was reported after half an hour breaking the field up till there was only 10 left at one stage. They all regrouped, uh, but she did all she had to do to win this race. She's done it before, and she's done it again. She just keeps adding to her career wins just about every race she enters. She does. She's had a great season. Watches and bears. Yeah, get, doesn't get much better than that. Finally won the world championships in the road race discipline for the first time last summer. Yeah. And point. has been on fire all year. One misstep, Liege Best Only is she absolutely froze herself on a miserable day, so no problem with the weather today. Absolutely perfect.